Kaduna Central Senator Alaji Shehu Sani has gotten angry over the tragic news of the four Hausa traders that were killed in Imo State. The former Nigeria senator has shown his displeasure over this news and has sent a crucial message to the governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodima, to serve justice right for the lives lost and always protect the non-indigents. Sheo Sani lamented further that the traders are very much different from armed SME and killing them is totally unjust. He tagged it as an evil act which is an despicable act by an individual. It's quite very disappointing for the people around these incidents to allow these killers in these guys to go scot-free. No matter the amount of hatred you have over the other region, at least they should be handed over to the police rather than taking loss into their hands. As she Usani said, I said the governor of the state have to act fast and secure justice for these four Hausa traders. I hope justice would be served eventually. Hmm. She Usani is really hungry. But uh, if these guys are Hausa, who are the people that killed them? And... Uh, because bef uh, the Hausa community has said it is the we don't even we don't even have the, the got the full story. They said it is Eastern Security Network. Eastern Security Network they are always in the bush. So how come they are always in the bush chasing Fulani Hessmen? They are about uh, going after Fulani Hessmen and Fulani Hessmen do not they are not trading. So what actually happened? That is what we don't even really get. And more so. A lot of people have been reacting to the statement of a uh, statement of Shehu Sani because I believe if really these people are if they are S men, definitely like uh, what uh, the Eastern Security said. He said if they don't leave the bush and if they are in town, because the only thing, the only condition given to the S men in South East is that go inside the town and and get a place rented so i don't know why this whole thing is going to be is going to be twisted you know that a, a lot of people were killed even the governor of ebony state a lot of people were killed in ebony state and the government governor is just crying like a baby he's saying that if this kind of a thing happened again it will the consequences will be whatever and nobody even because these people were not even inside the bush they were inside their houses when this whole thing happened so in that area we still just want to let them do investigation to know what actually happened. Because Eastern Security Network do not go after anybody, even if you are a Fulani man or person, you are in you are a Fulani S man. If you are in town, you have gone to rent a place, do your business, good and fine. They said let those who are in the village, in the forest, let them have peace of mind so that they will be able to do their own business. You cannot use their own your own business to disturb other people. And I don't know whether Shehu San is beginning to separate uh, uh, the Hausa and uh, Fulani now. Because he said they are not Fulani S-men. And more so, a woman, a woman was marketed in Undo State. Do you know that nobody said anything? A principal too was hurt. His hand was caught. Nobody said anything. No no statement. But with this one, everybody has started stating something. Even a boy incident that happened a few days ago, nobody said anything. Some are saying 18 people, 25 people, 30 people, as the case may be. But one thing that is pertinent is that the governor of the state came out and he was lamenting and was crying. The same APC governor, Governor David Umahi. But nobody said anything. Nobody said anything. But with this, what I, I, I believe and I can really assure is that they should do their investigation. Eastern Security Network are not in the town. What brings them to the town is the soldiers that bring them to the town. They are, their function, their activities, their duties is to be in the in the forest. That is it. And Fulani S men have been going outside the uh, bush, going into people's house to go and murder them. Uh, because all of these things are happening because we have somebody like uh, what uh, the pastor of a uh, citadel, Pastor Tunde Bakari said, the Buari he knew is not the Buari he's seeing today. There's a, there's still, it's a total disconnect. Honestly, there is a total disconnect. This is really ridiculous. You know, people are reacting to the statement made by Shehu Sani. Um, of course, your guess is as good as mine. 
someone says will you be swift to react when um you last did you condemned s men evil activities in the southern part of the country that's so bad nigeria police and emo state government should be held responsible for this a poor security everywhere killing those who are doing uh, bdc they have social call already mm. this is a very unfortunate if it is true it stands condemned pending investigation into the matter to ascertain the truth why and how but the guilty must not go unpunished nigeria is too complicated now to make hasty judgments okay which judgments are we talking here someone that cannot protect the indigents okay this one is referring to the governor of the state that the governor of the state cannot even protect his, his own people how can he protect the non-indigents since uh, she is telling us that uh, telling the governor to do the needful to protect the people that he cannot even protect his own people how do you expect him to protect uh, other people someone say yes this particular person is making a, a valid point you cannot send that crucial message to a boy she was sunny to a boy state when your people kill over 24 persons in a boy state Igbo people have continued to show hatred to indigenous of the north living in their zone why their people in the northern zone are safe can you imagine do you know that uh, one thing i i, I want to I, i'm trying to get from all of these things eh, the rate at which the south the north is really boiling they want to transfer it to other places so that it will and that is it that is the way i see it you might see it from a different perspective they want to make it so that everybody will not say hey and she they are saying uh, it's happening here see it's happening there that is just what these guys are apart from the other hidden agenda they have but what has been happening in the south is that is exactly what they want to do to provoke you then they will not categorize you all of you are the same somebody who is not saying that uh, the other uh, 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 tribes are in the north have you ever reported them? Have you ever reported other people in the north that they are they are doing they are passing their boundary or they are overstepping their boundaries? Have you ever complained? No, nobody has ever complained about any Igbo in the north, complained about any Yorubas or any other tribes in the north that they are they have become uh, thorn on their flesh. Have you ever? We have never heard a single one. But why is it that you see your people all over the place? Just like this person is saying, and I believe they want to change the narratives. You cannot change the narratives. You cannot change the narratives because it is your people coming to this place to cause trouble and nobody says anything. Of course, you know, this whole thing, this, uh, this uh, ethnicity or whatever, we play in no matter how you try to be nice. Of course, I have been praising this uh, Shea Wusani. I've been praising him to a very large extent. Nobody is perfect. But when it comes to your people, you begin to like, you. Ah, uh, uh, let me try to, uh, 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 I have to, you know, of course, it's natural. Is natural but what people are asking the question people are asking now is that what happened to nobody said anything it was if you know when we talked about uh, the ibarakwa case that happened the people are still there the s-men are still there was not still there not still there the woman that was that was that was injured in or just in on those states nobody said anything it didn't go viral okay we can say because it was only one person did the governor of that state say anything governor of a uh, window state the governor for your state did they say anything did they say anything oh maybe we might think okay because only it was only one uh, one case but what of a boy in state 20 something people 27 at least more than 10 more than five more than one person more than 20 people so what do you have to say nobody said anything so just normal a normal thing but this one they are not blowing it out of proportion these are the things that have been happening in their own zone now but you know it's not it's just a normal thing they are now making it seem as if uh, yes they care about your people if you care about your people something meaningful ought to have been done so guys let's hear your opinion let's know your thoughts on this thank you